What's going on, y'all? It's Mason Blaisdell, your Austin area real estate agent, and a bunch of you guys reach out and ask about Cedar Park, one of the northwest suburbs of Austin that is incredibly popular, not only because of its location, you know, it's one of the closer northwest suburbs to Austin itself, but it is known for having amazing schools. It's basically also a built-out town, too, so you've got all the infrastructure and character. It's a very, very easy place to live. But there's a lot of new things coming, even though Cedar Park is an older suburb, actually the suburb that I basically grew up in. My parents bought a house here when I was in third grade. But the Bell District, where we're starting now, is the biggest development project that's really moving dirt. As you can see behind me, the brand new Cedar Park Public Library just opened. That's the first phase of the Bell District. There's even more coming. They're prepping for more buildings here just beside me. There's even more coming. This Bell District is going to totally transform an older part of Cedar Park, making it really, really cool. But a lot of you guys relocating are learning about the cities, trying to figure out where to end up. And obviously there's a good range of homes here. You know, Cedar Park is one of the more expensive suburbs of Austin. And again, for the good reasons that I just mentioned, there is some really cool new stuff going on here. So we're gonna give just kind of a broad overview of three different developments at three different price points that I think are worth looking into if you're looking for newer construction in Cedar Park. And I'm gonna tell you why each one really has cool caveats coming to it. So let's jump in the car and we're gonna take you all around Cedar Park, give you a true sense of what's going on here. Now we're just pulling out of the Bell District onto up Bell Boulevard, which is also 183A, obviously. <laughs> There's some weird Texasisms um, that if you're not familiar, streets can have a name and a number name. Anyhow, this is an interesting one because where we're driving on right now uh, used to not exist. This highway actually used to be over there and then merged up, you know, coming up to where, where we are now. And they're turning that old section into the Bell District. This has farmer's markets. I mean, a lot of really cool things. And that's gonna be the new kind of hub, the center of the things going on here in Cedar Park, which is really, really cool. And like I mentioned, I've sold a whole bunch of homes. You know, I did grow up in Cedar Park, but Man, I mean, the population's grown over 50% since 2019. I mean, it's absolutely crazy how much this town has exploded. Um, and with that growth, a lot of things have changed about it. And obviously, you know, Cedar Park used to be the kind of farthest out suburb. It very much is not anymore but it's extremely convenient to everything. It has some of the highest rated schools in all of the Austin area, and for the most part, a pretty reasonable tax rate, all things considered. So the, the cost of living, even though the pricing is high, tends to even itself out um, and offer a really good value if those are things you care about. It's also the home for several different private school options, a whole lot of different sports things going on, like breweries scattered around. So, you know, no matter what kind of, you know, life stage your family is in, there's a good chance that you're gonna find something here in Cedar Park for you. It's also right down the road from Apple's huge campus. A lot of the tech employers are located just down the road at the domain, like Indeed, for example. Um, they've got huge offices that Cedar Park has really, really easy access down the 183 toll road to get to. Um, anyways, just making this location-wise, there's a reason why this carries a premium over some other areas. But it's not very often that new housing projects come online, so I'm gonna take you through three different ones at three different price ranges and also very different offerings. Just to kind of give you a sense, if you're looking into relocating to this area, definitely don't cross it off the list and let price disappoint you. There's actually some really cool stuff. And then the last neighborhood we're gonna visit is honestly really darn unique because it's offering a really high-end product in a neighborhood where basically everything is already built out. It offers you the flexibility to go with a semi-custom builder, so it makes the process a lot easier and offers it at a better price point than you buying a lot and building it on yourself. So let's jump ahead. I've got a lot to show you in this video. Now this is Whitestone Preserve, a really cool product by Pulte Homes, offering again, really bringing that price point down, but getting you into Cedar Park at a super affordable price. You can get these brand new construction, starting in the high 300s the bigger floor plans are going for about 410 as of the time of recording this video like for the value for a 1.98 percent property tax rate um, and then it's only 195 dollars a month hoa and again because these are townhomes they share the structure they share the roof 
you know, basically offloads all of the liability and maintenance for those things onto the HOA. For that, it's actually really, really good value, again, to be in Cedar Park, to be really close to things. And we're also out getting close towards the lake out here too, which is just a really, really cool opportunity. And it's really neat that Pulte is bringing something like that here to this area. Now we are pulling into Cross Creek and I've got to be honest of all of the developments that we've, you know, talked about in this video and that we were going to put together and we were planning for it. This was the one I was most excited to show off because I really haven't done anything here as far as media goes. Um, but this is a place that I've brought quite a few clients who absolutely fall in love with the idea of the location here because the location here literally probably could not be better. We are directly across, like walking distance to 1890 Ranch, which is, well, to be honest, before the Bell District, the center of everything in Cedar Park. From these homes, you can walk to Hop Dottie, which is, you know, one of the top burger places in Austin. First watch, you can get your hair cut, you know, Target, like all of the miscellaneous things you could want, literally walking distance, it's right there. You also have easy access biking down to the whole Brushy Creek trail system. If you follow a trail that goes all the way down there, it does connect into it. Just offering so much, you know, when we start talking about a lot of the suburbs, a big complaint that a lot of people have when they come to Texas is just how spread out everything is and how nothing seems to be walkable. You've got to drive everywhere. That is not as much of a problem here. This is about as urban as you'll find a place in Cedar Park to be, which again, brand new construction home. And most of these, this is a Braun home development. Most of these are going to end up in that 600 ish thousand dollar range. Of course, depending on size and options and all those things, but it is very, very cool. Now, there's a couple of unique things about this project uh, that I do think are worth pointing out and questions that you'll probably have. And I'll answer those ahead of time. You'll notice as we drive through here, everything is marked as a fire lane. Now, this land is zoned for multifamily and for very long, complicated legal reasons that are beyond me, um, they can get away with building these standalone detached, quote, condos because of different rules and the size of the lot versus, you know, owning private roads and parking and whatnot. Anyhow, really, it means nothing. And these homes are going to live exactly like if you owned a single family, it is fully detached, you own your yard, you own your house, um, you own, you know, the structure of it, you own the roof, nothing like that is traditional condo, it's condo by name only. Anyways, you do pay a very reasonable HOA fee here, which is super nice to have. The tax rate here is also super reasonable. And at the time of recording this video, they just opened a whole new section of this neighborhood, offering a couple of spec homes that are available right now, as well as the option to build. So if you are curious, they've got green belt lots here. There's quite a few really nice spots. Again, in that kind of mid tier price range, this is absolutely a spot worth checking out here in Cedar Park. Now we're pulling into the last spot. This is Hidden Creeks, a neighborhood by Toll Brothers here in Cedar Park, which is really different and stands out from almost everything else out here. Now, most of the houses you're gonna find in here are in and just over that $1 million price range. However, compared to a lot of the homes nearby, which are not built as high end, which are not built as modern, that don't have as large of lots and are even a little bit farther out of town, you'll pay eight, 900 for a house that doesn't come anywhere near what you're gonna find in this neighborhood. Again, much less factoring in location. Now, this is also uniquely set just off of that 1890 Ranch shopping center that I we were just at earlier and Ronald Reagan Boulevard. So if you work at Apple, or if you need to get to the domain, things like that, you've got two different ways to get there. You've got easy access to 183 Toll Road, and you've got easy access to Ronald Reagan Boulevard. And we're also far south enough on Ronald Reagan that you're gonna skip a lot of the traffic that my folks, you know, for example, who pass on Santa Rita Ranch, as amazing as that neighborhood is, and honestly, as much value as you get there, you're losing 20 minutes by coming here off of your drive time. It really is unique from that perspective. 
Now with Toll Brothers too, if you aren't super familiar, you know, they tend to be on the higher end of the Austin area. And my clients who chose Toll Brothers chose it for a few different things. They really maximize large windows, high quality construction. You know, you can even see the difference just from driving by on the road um, of the little things that they do differently. And then when you get to go to the Toll Brothers Design Center, which ironically is like right around the corner from here, you've got so many options to truly customize the home to make it really your dream home, to make it feel like your own. There's also options to do custom things from time to time. Um, I had a couple of custom requests, the little changes that Toll Brothers was happy to accommodate for the last buyer I sold here. Anyways, all in all, having this as an option in Cedar Park for new construction really is unbeatable. Again, considering price, location, ease of living here, as well as things like commute times, this is unbeatable and definitely worth checking out if you're looking into that Cedar Park area and if you're looking at a price range that would justify something like this. Now, if this video was helpful to you, just giving a general sense of what it's like to live in Cedar Park, maybe you're looking to relocate here. And if you are looking for a real estate agent to help guide you through the process, make sure to find the right place, whether it's a new construction like one of these or a resale home, which there are some really great options for that we didn't get into in this video and of course make you confident through the process through the contract parts of new construction or resale and make sure we find the right house at the right price in the right place for you and your family i'd love that opportunity my personal contact details are on the screen and down below right now thanks for watching on this one i will see you guys next time